shake it, baby. Welcome to Steel Dynamics in Butler, Indiana. This is a big steel plant that I used to come to when I drove dump trucks. I used to come here, I'm talking. I down there lived here. I used to come here, I used to bring coke in here, which is a byproduct, byproduct of steel. It looks like coal. Um, we used to bring it here and, and dump it back at this pile, which is um, just straight ahead and over to the right. We also used to bring in shred, which is basically crushed um, or crumbled up steel car. They'll take a car or a bus or whatever, and they will drop it through a crusher, and it will literally just disintegrate that vehicle into little pieces about the size of a uh, but the size of a tortilla chip, maybe maybe twice the size of a to, of a tortilla chip, and uh, crush it. And um, so I spent a lot of time here waiting in line, waiting to dump. You know, sitting here at the early in the morning. I used to leave my house at one o'clock in the morning to be able to get here in time to um, to dump a load and be able to get to where I need to go to reload to be back home. You know, it, it was. It was a interesting hustle, as far as I if, if you were, because it felt like a hustle. Um, but I'm here picking up a hazmat load that's going to go. This whole load is about a total of 140 miles, pays about seven dollars and fifty cents a mile. And I'm here to pick up the first stop of it. I'm a little hustling today because I had to learn the hard way with a sleeper birth, or split sleeper birth really is. It means you stay in the sleeper birth. <laughs> I just learned. So, um, let me go get checked in here, get myself set up and get, uh, get loaded. So we are still moving. We're in Butler, Indiana, like I mentioned earlier. So last night, um, I did a, tried to do a split seven or split sleeper birth, seven three split. All right, so I um, I shut down. I uh, went um, off duty on sleeper birth. Did the three hours. They actually did more than that. Then um, got going. Drove to my place where I delivered. Um, put it. Uh, was on duty. Got unloaded. All that great stuff. But then after I get empty, I went to go back off duty um, or to go in the sleeper berth. So I did that, went in the sleeper berth. And where I parked at, they kicked me out. So I had to PC to another location. I PC'd and, um, and got to my new sleeping location. And so I'm thinking because I was off duty when I PC'd that... Um, I would still be considered um, off duty for those seven hours. Oh, did I learn. I set my alarm clock this morning for about 6.30 because I figured at that moment I would be, I have my eight and I'll be ready to roll. But nope, I had only been in the sleeper berth for five and a half hours at that time. The on duty time that I was on did not count. So I've learned. It means sleeper birth for a reason. And it's a split sleeper for a reason. It's not split sleeper birth option off duty or split sleeper birth for three off duty for seven. No, it's a split sleeper birth. So I just learned something today and I hope maybe I'm sharing this and somebody else is learning it. Or some of you are probably saying you big dummy. It says sleeper birth. Split sleeper birth. Yeah. I never said I was the sharpest tool in the shed. I never said that. Never ever said it. But it's all right. I'm getting loaded. I have a gentleman who is working hard. He's, he's getting at it. And I'll be loaded here in a minute. I need to get rolling. I have basically an hour of driving, 56 minutes. And I have an hour and a half to get there. I don't like to play this stuff close like this, but uh, 
I had to play a little close today, so it's all right. We're going to pick this load up and then it delivers in the morning. Like I said, it's a total of 140 miles. I delivered in the morning and then um, I'm actually going to go going to go home for a few days. I uh, got some some paperwork and some business to take care. Of. Um, beginning of the year, tax season is coming up, so I got some stuff we got to take care of with the accountant um, because he is an awesome man. He and his wife and his team. You know, we got a lot of stuff to get 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 done and take care of. Um, but yeah, that's what we're doing. Picking up some empty totes. Nice paying load, seven dollars and fifty cents a mile. A little hop here, kind of pays for the fuel and and some for that ridiculously cheap load I brought out of Atlanta. Golly, yeah, it hurts my feelings. So let's do that. Get loaded here and um, get on down to uh, Lignier, Indiana, about 33 miles from here. All right, I am loaded. <coughs> 24 totes, hazmat totes. Uh, let's throw some placards on this baby. And uh, we're going to get out to this guard shack. Hopefully, we can get out of here in the next five minutes. I got to scale out. So I get here, scale out, and get down the road. We got some stuff to do. Tight, but it's going to be right. We're going to make it happen. I called him Little Dome Coming. I don't know if that means anything. That's what Little Dome Coming. I'm probably, you know, basically, I'm probably going to get there when they're about to leave. So hopefully it won't be that bad. I'm not sure. I mean, totes there picking up. Well, I'm picking up from there. I didn't look. Uh, but I probably got half a trailer's worth here right now. So. Get up here and um, get myself scaled out. Stay with me for a minute, family. Where am I today? I didn't think I needed to scale, <laughs> but I asked just to be certain. Didn't think I needed to scale. I didn't scale in, so it didn't have an empty way for me. But I am out of here. As you can see, I don't know if the camera doesn't any justice, but this is a major uh, steel manufacturing industry area. A lot of dump trucks, a lot of flatbed come through here. A lot of heavy loads come through this area. Very, very heavy loads. Because all this is all based on weight. The more weight you got, the more money you make. I tell you, I have a good friend of mine who is in this industry, and he wants me to get a truck and put it on with him and haul this stuff. But I tell you, man, first of all, it's a very volatile industry. And I'm not talking bad about it. I mean, you can make good money. You can make good money. Um, but it's hard on the equipment. It's real hard on the equipment. Especially going to some of these scrap, scrap yards. I mean, to get through a week without getting a flat was like, wow, we celebrated that. We'll, in this industry, over the road, OTR, we'll go years without getting a blowout or, a, or a, you know, a flat or anything else like that. You know, but there, you you need to keep tires on stock because you're going to have a great chance on a tire or just losing a tire and I don't care what drive steer two at a time really volatile um, the frames I mean, the dump the trailers itself high maintenance on the trailers you're dealing with a lot of operators who don't care so they have dumped the material in your box put holes in your floors it was. It's. It's. it's uh, it is a very rough industry. Real volatile. A lot of overhead. So which is why I enjoy this side of the truck. <laughs> Good old drive van OTR. I like it. I like it. But uh, we're gonna shoot on over here to Lakeview, Lakeview, Indiana. I'm probably hatching that name up real bad. So we can get loaded with the second stop of this uh, of this load. We're probably 45 minutes out. And uh, get there, bump that dock, get loaded, and then uh, 
babysit this to tomorrow morning. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and, sh and shoot on down to Delphi, Indiana, near near it at least. I know there's a truck stop near it. Nothing major, but some mom and pop truck stops. Go in there, sit down, and watch a little TV, catch up with some paperwork, and uh, get, get this load unloaded, and then uh, go into uh, go to the house. I'm actually gonna put my truck in the shop. <clears throat> I mentioned uh, this weekend I'm having some air conditioning issues and I don't want to not be able to go south because I don't get no air. Um, it's weird because uh, if anyone got any suggestion or any idea what I'm dealing with in the comments, please do. <clears throat> so when I'm rolling and I got my circulator off so I'm getting fresh air into the cab and my air conditioning button is on, I'm getting cool air. I'm good. I'm good. I'm not hot. But the minute I stop and I'm idle, it get hot here. So if anybody has an idea what that is, please let me know in the comments. That'd be awesome. Uh, but I'm going to take it in the Thermal King, uh, which is literally, honestly, 10 minutes, 15 minutes from my house. And I'm going to drop it off there. I'm going to give them a few days of work. And hopefully I have it by Monday when I, when I plan to go back out and get me going. I figure while they have it, I'm going to let them service my APU and, um, you know, oil change and all that great stuff and filter, water, all those great things. You know, to maintain this luster and get ready for the uh, spring that's going to be upon us real soon. we get a service. So that's what I plan to do. Get this baby in, get a little tender loving care, particularly my agency. But uh, stay with me on this one. loaded and um, this place that I'm going down in Delphi, I think I've been here before um, they take a lot of empty totes um, but they always pay pretty decent going in a lot of, it's a short move always, I've never had it where it was more than 100 miles my lights, light, lips are white, wow <clears throat> more than 100 miles but it was really um pay decent high rate of mile per mile and um they say nine o'clock appointment but then they open seven eight seven o'clock in the morning and uh so i'll be there waiting for them and then they open in the morning get empty and um get this load off but uh probably got five thousand pounds of that on my um in my box what kind of loads i like light load Make up for the fuel I sucked down um, coming up here from Atlanta. And, um, you know, it's what you do. It's a topic I'm going to talk about with these brokers. How I feel the brokers are targeting um, a certain spectrum of the, of the trucking industry. Particularly new, young on operators, carriers, and they're getting away with highway murder in terms of rates. I really believe that. So that's something we're going to talk about. I just, I, I observed something last night at the uh, receiver that I was delivering that made me, that really brought that to my mind. The type of drivers that were coming in, the lack of experience that they were, that they had, and they were all individual carriers. And I know good and well that they came for some pretty cheap numbers. So there's something I believe that's going on in the industry. So let's um let's pull out of this hole. Let's close the door and that's um let's get on down down the road and shut down the night so we can get Club Man fired up. Let's do it. Right, good morning. The load has been delivered. Um, probably had about 35, 36 totes, hazmat totes or so. I've been to this location before here in Delphi. They do go by appointment, but they're in and out. My appointment for 9 is 9.15, and I'm done. Bills have been scanned and sent, and... Um, that's it. I'm actually about to 
then head on back to the house an hour, 27 minutes, give or take from there. And I'm gonna get my truck into the shop so I can get my air conditioning looked at. I know he's like, man, it's it's winter time up there, but um, it ain't winter time down south. <laughs> and I'm gonna also get my APU service, get oil change and all that good stuff on to it. Um, but I gotta get this air fixed, man. I gotta have air. I run air all year round. That's just me. Uh, so something ain't right with it, but it should be an easy fix. I do got a warranty that covers that, so that's good to know. And my APU is covered in, under warranty. I actually paid an extra uh, bit on my um, NTPS, NTPS, whatever it's called, uh, warranty that includes my uh, APU. So I've just been donating money, so maybe it's time for me to utilize it for once at least. Um, you know, I'm not even trying to use it just that much, but it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it, right? So let's do that. You guys are great. Um, you know the, the same. First of me, continue to say, man, I appreciate you guys following. The channel is growing. Um, I'm excited about that big time. Um, continue to spread the word. Like and subscribe if you haven't. Um, and remember, keep doing what you're doing. So you can see what it does. We will see you on the next one.